hello, it's Rika Kovacin here today and I'm making a couple of cards in this video. You can find all the products I'm using listed in the description box. For these cards I decided to use some dies I have and first of all I die cut the <laughs> embellishments to be used in these using my Sisyx machine. I cut some out of white cardstock to be colored later on and some out of just craft colored cardstock that fitted the color scheme I had in my mind. The next thing I'm then doing is choosing a background. I have these Tim Holtz background papers and I'm picking the ones I like. First of all I wanted a kind of a small enough pattern for the cards and I was also looking kind of a vibrant color this time. So I'm first picking out of the kind of cherries from the stack and then deciding the two I want to use for these cards. In the end I choose to use a kind of a teal colored one and a yellow one for these. I then cut out a piece fitting to the card from the both of the papers. The next thing I then did was to go through these die cuts and pick out matching colors for both of the cards. I edited that part out because you already got me choosing the papers so I think maybe you don't want to see that but the main reason was the color scheme so I wanted some warm colors yellow tones for the yellow one and teal tones for the teal one. I'm then inking around the edge of the background papers and also adding colors to the die cuts. For the wreaths I'm just adding a little bit of brown but for the plants I'm then using on each card I'm turning the leaves and stems green and then the blooms to matching color of the background. When I then have the elements inked, I'm adding some modeling paste through a stencil to both backgrounds. This is to add some light touches to the background and a little bit more interest there and also some dimension. After the paste is then dried, I added also some black splashes, kind of bringing that opposite ends of the spectrum to the cards black for contrast and white for light. Then the actual composition starts. I'm just playing with the die cuts and then realized that maybe first I should add those die cut flowers I just inked as the first element and then trying to find die cuts from the pack that match the composition. I'm using one of the bigger pieces as kind of the background and staple the flowers on top of it and then add little elements supporting that. I'm using foam tape to mount the elements so there's a little bit of dimension also in them. As the florals are kind of a um, vertical element in the card I'm also adding something hor horizontal and for that I'm using this natural twine wrapped a couple of times around the card. You can first see me do the teal card and then I'm repeating the process for the yellow one. It goes much speedily because I made the kind of hard decisions on the teal one.
When I then had the compositions done and secured with foam tape or just adhesive, then it's time to add the little sentiments. For those I'm using these die cut labels I have and just stamping the sentiment on top and then I use a brown ink to match it to the kind of vintage color palette each of the card has. I'm then playing around a little bit with the placement of the sentiment but then securing it with just double-sided tape to each card and then they are done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. You know the drill. I'm wishing you a very nice weekend if you're watching this on Friday when it comes live. And remember, there's a new process video every Friday on my channel. Thanks again. See you next Friday. Bye.